talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep. I'm talking about balls deep in love. What is up, Fox? It is I, Jet. I'm here to watch a video with you. As per usual, we're going to try to keep this light, happy, because I'm feeling good tonight. Sarcastically good. A little evil. Slightly evil. Anyways, we're going to watch a video because Amber Lynn's going to tell us what to expect in 2021. And I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of one of those people who likes to know ahead of time what I'm looking to do. Especially when I go to the gynecologist. I don't like surprises. Especially there. So, you guys know how I like to do my videos. We watch videos together. We cringe in unison like the family that we are. Comments for comments or two. Sam Berlin. They're almost always due. Slap on your happy face, act like you want to be here. Let's get some work done. <sighs> Just got a horrible feeling with that one. Like this will not be enjoyable. Nope. I keep it positive. It's 2021. Something might go right this year. We're not. Nothing's giving us the feeling that it, this year's shit like 2020 did. So smile, get your happy pills or your alcohol, and let's get this shit going. Onward. Hey guys. Oh. <sighs> Already you've disappointed me. I thought you were going to stop doing the hello thing. I hate when you do the hello without consent. Makes me feel dirty on the inside. <sighs> no. Just no. <sighs> Let's continue. Ugh. Maybe after a shower or two. Gross. Oh. How much did this shit cost you? It's like, I don't know. Starting off the same old bullshit with a new wrapper on it. <laughs> mm. Honey, I don't think it's gonna make a difference. It's just a feeling I have. But we'll comply. Maybe it'll all be changed and maybe this will be a good thing. It'll be the start of something brand new. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm being completely fucking sarcastic. This is the bow you're supposed to take off before you get a huge box of shit. And then trying to hide it. <sighs> she probably got this off Fiverr. So welcome to the first video of 2021. Oh. She has a box in front of her. And we know that that means she's gonna fucking eat a shitload of food. So cute. An unbelievably morbidly obese woman that just had cancer. It's adorable. So cute. Ugh. So we're gonna do a little talking. I know you guys are probably like, really the first video is a mukbang? I'm going to explain why. So let me show you my food first and let's talk. You guys, I hope this setup is okay for now. All right, so I don't know like the name for everything. So I'm just gonna describe it. We have some soy sauce. There's no need for you to name it. It all just turns into something disgusting as you eat with your mouth open and put way too much food in it to where you've got it 
hanging out of your mouth. We don't like you to eat in front of us, period. So why would we give a shit the name of it? Okay, so this is a tofu and I don't know. It's like a tofu situation. All right, situation. A set of circumstances in which one finds oneself a state of affairs. Two, the location and surroundings of a place. Okay. That is certainly the misuse of that word. No, 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 no. Um, looks like that. Yep, like fucking garbage. Got it. I'm just gonna like lay everything out. We also have some sushi, obviously. Oh, on top it says what it's called. Okay, so this is called a blue connie. I might be pronouncing it wrong. This is called a Hotel Cali. So this just has crab, um, cream cheese. There's some type of sauce. I don't know. We're going to try these together. Here we have some more, some more soy sauce. Um, okay. So we have, like I said, I pronounce things wrong. Ebay tamag. I'm pretty sure Ebay is this. It's just like um, shrimp or whatever with rice. Tamago, this is like egg. It's only like 70% of the time that my allergy kicks in when I eat eggs. I don't like, it only makes it so like I have a headache and my stomach hurts and like sometimes I even get sick. Her egg allergy, like a magician, is it the like Houdini of egg allergies? Does she like have to engage her egg allergies, like push a button, and that shit happens? I have IBS and I want nothing more than to eat fucking KFC or McDonald's chicken nuggets without crapping every thing I've ever eaten out of my body. And I'm pretty sure I crap some of my small and large intestines out also. I would love to do that, but you know why I don't? Because the motherfucking shit hurts. I don't get her egg allergy. Does she have her egg allergy on layaway? Someone get back to me on that. Because a bitch needs to know. And this is a crunchy California roll thing. Some more sauce. We have wasabi. We have ginger. And that is it. Oh, it comes with this cute little like container moment. Oh. Okay, so I don't know how to use chopsticks, but we're going to try it together. I truly cannot believe that it is... 2021 okay well right now it's the 31st that's why i'm like sparkly and glittery i'm wearing this beautiful dress because it's new year's eve so yeah i'm gonna pour my soy sauce in this little thing right here 2020 has been 
no bueno for everybody in the world. Um, it's just been so crazy. Ugh. And it's like the fact that I was diagnosed with like cancer, it's just. Do you guys know she's diagnosed with cancer? <sighs> she's eating enough for at least three other people. I was diagnosed with cancer and like, I'm gonna eat this food for like a family of four. Cause my inability to take care of myself because I have the will to survive is like not there, period. Yeah. What a fucking jackhole. <laughs> 2020 sucked. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe in, Jet. Breathe in. What the fuck? <laughs> Like, I was diagnosed with cancer. Now I'm gonna do a mukbang. Cause I'm pretty sure I would have known I had cancer sooner if my painful body from being huge didn't mask the pain of the cancer. Yeah. So I'm just going to keep getting fat because I do what I want. <laughs> I didn't think stupid like this existed. <sighs> All. It's just too much. Okay, so we're going to do this one. I don't see. I don't know how to use these. I'm going to be using my fingers. I'd rather not botch the system there. All right. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So. Why am I filming a mukbang? Oh, that's an easy one. You're filming a mukbang because you're a quitter who likes to troll her audience to get more money because she can cause people to comment on her videos by acting like an asshole. She knows engagement gets her video going around. Huh. Oh, and also because you're a tubby dumbass. What's wrong with you? I don't want to hear you crying later when there's something else wrong with you. Or that you don't like the way you look. You can save those tears. Put them in your pocket for someone who gives a shit. This is the kind of bullshit we're talking about. God, you're stupid. You make it extremely hard, extremely hard to want you to fucking succeed. You are such a spoiled child. It, you, mm, mm -mm. nope, nope, nope. I love ginger. So good. So. 
starting in 2021, I want to have like a schedule. Um, I'm putting wasabi in my soy sauce. I want to upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Are we doing this bullshit again? Because we already tried this shit a bunch of times. You barely lasted a month, most of the tries. This is stupid. Why do you do this? And then you act like it's so overwhelming for you. This is stupid. You're, you're just doing this dumb shit again. This is what I want to do for now. Fridays, I want to be dedicated to food. Mondays will be a weekly vlog. Wednesdays will be a weight loss moment. I figured, why the heck not? Those are my three favorite videos to film. God, you look disgusting right now. You just... How old are you that you act like this? Ugh. Clean your mouth. So foul all the time. I can't believe YouTube monetizes this shit. It's obvious you have an eating disorder. So good. Literally just rice and shrimp. <clears throat> Do not make that noise again. I fucking swear to God. Do not make that fucking noise again. No. Hmm. I can't tell you what that is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. You had to throw in that Chantal laugh. You gotta put a little big, beautiful, fucking me laugh in there, didn't you? You know I have PTSD from watching her eat. Just had to toss that right in there to bring memories back. I'll never be the same. The two of you are like barnyard animals. They haven't been fed in months. I feel like with sushi and stuff like that, it's always a hit or a miss. Well, with me it is. I either like it or I don't. Mm. Love this. Did I say what this was? This is like a crab mixture with a thick layer of who gives a shit. It's just a guess. I hear it really brings out the taste of the crab meat. Cucumber. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Mm. 
Mm. So, I enjoy sitting down, eating, and talking. I will never order a meal strictly for a mukbang. This is something I would order already. Well, mystery solved there, folks. Now you know how she got this way. Really? <laughs> oh, great. Mukbangs are coming back. Hey. Hooray. Someone shoot me in the face. Um, I love to vlog and my life isn't that entertaining. So filming a weekly vlog just makes the most sense to me. So it's not like super boring. I figured perfect time would be for it to go up at the beginning of the week. <clears throat> at the beginning of the week. So it'll be up on Mondays and then I'll restart a new weekly vlog on the Monday. And everyone loves a good old fashion Wednesday weigh in. <laughs> so I figured let's include that too. Um, 2020 was very up and down when it came to my weight loss. I was doing really good there for a minute and then that stopped after my hysterectomy. I'm not making like these huge like goals of weight loss and setting myself up for failure. I'm doing things differently this year and I'm actually pretty freaking excited and um, tomorrow is the first which is a Friday, which is not a weigh-in day because weigh-in is on um, Wednesdays. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weigh in tomorrow and I'm gonna include that in my Wednesday weigh-in, if that makes sense. How much sodium is in just one of these packs? Oh. 300. I was expecting like a thousand. <laughs> and you guys know me, I usually have like, oh my god, a million resolutions that I want to do and I'm just not doing it this time. No. So I have had this one other time and I actually liked it. It's like egg. I don't know. It's like sweet egg. It's really weird. Um, I haven't had it in a while, so let's see. It's okay. It's a it's a different concept. Not horrible. So yeah, I just, uh, I want to do my thing and I also want to do a mixture of what you guys like as well. You guys might not believe it, but a lot of you like my mukbangs. <laughs> oh, I was waiting for this one. Somehow it being our fault. You guys like my mukbangs. You ever think that maybe, just maybe, that's in your head? No one likes your mukbangs except for the people who like to feed fat women till they die. They're called feeders, you asshole. People are paying you to stuff food in your face to watch you grow to an enormous size 
to where you're bed bound because that's what feeders do now there's the ones that are just gawkers pay you basically to eat because you there's something to stare at like in a freak show then there's others that just watch you who are just waiting around for a goddamn miracle for you to grow a brain or take your head out of your ass either one no one really likes your move bumps nobody no normal person likes your move bumps don't blame it on us you're a jackass It's nice that you want to eat yourself to death, but don't blame it on us. That was all you. And a lot of you obviously like the weigh-ins and a lot of you like the vlogs. So I'm going to do all three. I'm tired of the mindset of just going to do weight loss or just going to do vlogs or just going to do mukbangs. Let's do all three. Let's do this. Let's make 2021 so much better than 2020. So good. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys know this. I'm a year older. So as you guys last saw me, I am 30. Oh, you're 30. It'll be a miracle if you make it to 32. Yeah, it's gonna be a fucking miracle. Especially with you doing this bullshit. Ahem. My birthday was on the 27th. So we did that. Um, <sighs> cannot believe it. It's so crazy. Yeah, I know it is crazy that you made it that far in your life. We all thought you'd die before you reached 30. Good job. 30 years old. But my mental, I feel like I'm 17. But my mental... I'm 17. But my mental, I'm 17. My mental? Watching your videos, you make it feel like I was skull fucked by a rhesus monkey on meth. Just by watching your videos. Just humping away, high on meth, eye sockets, ears, whatever you can find. That's what it feels like. My mentals. Mental. The fuck is wrong with you? She needs a helmet for her mentals. She doesn't want to hurt that little brain in her head. So tiny. I don't know what it is. I still feel so young. I just, when I was a teenager, I always thought 
being 30 years old is going to be so, whoa, old, blah, blah, blah. And let me tell you, I still feel that way. Like, oh my God, being 30 is so old. But I don't feel 30. So either I'm just young mentally or the concept of being 30 is so just like not real. Even Becky, like she's 30 now too. Neither of us feel 30 at all in the slightest. So, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I mean, I'd rather feel 17 than feel like 80. Like nothing against 80 year olds, but I don't want to feel old, you know? Um, number one. You may think in your mind that you're 17. You feel it. Just to let you know, you're also acting like it. Um, two, fuck you if you think 30's old. It's not. I grew up in a house with an older mom because she went to nursing school and got herself a real respectable job as a registered nurse. Um, so my mom is older than the average bear. Let's put it that way. So, 30s, 40s, 50s don't seem at all old to me. Neither does 60. For whatever. Um, sweetie, you're 30. Do you realize by what you're eating, you're gonna start feeling like you're 80? By the time you're 40, <laughs> you don't want to feel old. Well, you're just shoving all that shit in your face. You're going to start to feel old real quick. So I hope that meal is delicious. I want to feel young for as long as I possibly can. That's just me, though. I think out of everything, my favorite, the ginger, obviously, and this right here. Probably because it's like fried. <laughs> so good. Yeah, I definitely wanted my first video, obviously, because it's Friday, to be the mukbang and to just. A simple explanation of what to expect Monday Wednesday and Friday I don't want to keep repeating myself but every Friday a food video will be up and I will have a topic to discuss or a few topics I think it'll just be really fun for me um, to have the variety but also the routine and I feel like I need routine um, I have already started, obviously, my weekly vlog, which will be up on Monday. Tonight, the ball is going to drop. It's going to be a countdown to 2021. I don't know what to expect. Bitch, you need to expect diabetes. That's what you need to start to expect. I sure already got it. Anything's possible. Ah, like, I don't know. Like, obviously, there's, like, the conspiracy side of things, and then there's, like, the paranoia side of things, but then there's also the, okay, let's be positive. Let's go into this new year. And there's this TikTok I saw that said, don't touch anything. We're going to go into 2021 and don't touch anything. Like, no one touch anything. Let's just have a good year. Um, Bitch. What are you blathering about? The fuck are you talking about? Don't touch anything. What does it even mean? 
kind of stupid shit are you selling? Just don't touch anything. Are we doing this again? Just don't touch anything. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your hands. Don't touch the mic. Don't touch your smoky treat. Don't touch shit. I touch everything, believe it or not. And I'm not dead. So suck it. Let's go and have a new year. Don't touch anything. What does that even mean? <laughs> Sorry, I behave. I know that like changing a calendar isn't going to change what's going on in the world. But I feel like when you think of certain things that have happened in life, you think of the year. Like, oh, I met Becky in... 2017 or oh COVID happened in 2020 um actually that's wrong uh the reason why it's called COVID-19 is um the first cases broke out in 2019 that's when it first started showing up on the radar um yeah so you're wrong about that, actually. It's, it started in 2019. Or, oh, my, I lost my virginity and blah, blah, blah. You get what I'm saying? So I hope that we can look back at 2021 and be like, this is when the world turned around and everything just got so much better. And that is just what I'm hoping for. Because when I think of 2020, it's surrounded by horrible things that happened. Um, but I do want to end this video by talking about the positive things that happened. I am so glad that's over. What the hell was that? Why can't she ever just say some normal shit? Why does she always have to make herself out to be super emotional and just flash that victim card around? I hate that shit. I hate people who do that. Run around in public crying and acting overly emotional about shit. Yes, I do get it. Fucking... She survived cancer. I've known a lot of people to survive cancer too. <laughs> mm. I just think it's unnecessary. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's because I don't like to show my emotions a lot. I'm out. Be nice. Put up your happy faces. No house fires. No collecting stray dogs and trying to make them cage fight for pickles. None of that shit. Like... Subscribe, share, but if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. Absolutely perfectly fine. Because I'm an asshole. A huge one. I am literally talking huge. You know what I like to do? I like to get overly, overly emotional in public. So people feel sorry for me. It's like, I do it all the time. Sympathy gets results, people. Try it. <laughs> Anyways. Like, subscribe, share, but if you don't, it's perfectly fine. I will be sitting here in this chair. Talking to myself in front of this camera. As per usual. Put up your happy faces, I'm serious. And I'll see you guys later. Deuces.